Welcome to the After Effects Interface Crash Course. This should help you get your bearings in After Effects. Let's set up your composition. In After Effects, you can create a number of compositions within a project. This is especially useful as it keeps different elements of the same project together. So first we need to create our composition. In the Composition menu at the top of the screen, select New Composition. A composition is like your canvas, and you need to decide on its size in pixels and its length in time. If your project is intended for television, DVD, or to be viewed as video on the web, then we should set up your composition as follows. If you don't know what it will be needed for, this method will keep your options open. If you need to name your composition, you can do it here. Otherwise, it will assume the default name, usually Comp1. Presuming you are in the UK and working in high definition, your composition width in pixels should be 1920, and height should be 1080. Pixel aspect ratio is the shape of each individual pixel. As we have specified our exact width and height, we should choose square pixels. Your frame rate should be 25 frames per second. Resolution, full, half, third or quarter, refers to the playback resolution of your composition. It's useful to be able to change the playback resolution, because if your composition becomes complex, your workstation may not be able to play it back in real time, at full resolution. You can change it later if you need to. Your start time code should be zero. Duration is the length of your composition timeline. This should be the maximum predicted length of your project in hours, minutes, seconds and frames. Estimate for now, or if you're not sure, input 30 seconds. You can always change this later if you need more space. Click OK when you're done. You should now see the After Effects workspace looking something like this. After Effects is updated regularly, and features added and taken away, but the main layout is always fairly similar. The interface shown in this tutorial is from After Effects version CS3, but version CS4 and CS5 look very similar. If your layout doesn't look quite like this, you can access all the available windows from the Window menu at the top of the screen. First, it's a good idea to save your project. Select Save As from the File menu at the top of the screen and choose a location and name for your project. Click Save. Remember to save your project regularly so as not to lose any of your work. Let's have a look at the After Effects interface. On the left you should see your project window. Each composition you create will appear here as well as any resources you import, such as images, video clips, sounds or things created within After Effects. If you double click your new composition, it should open in the timeline window. The timeline window is where you build your compositions. All the elements you add to your composition will appear here as layers. In After Effects, your layers can also have a duration in the timeline area on the right of this window. By default, After Effects will work in 2D, and therefore, like Photoshop, the uppermost layer will be visible over any layers below it in your list. However, After Effects can also work in 3D, in which case the layers become visible based on their virtual physical spacing. The tabs at the top of the timeline window allow you to view multiple compositions, as well as the render queue, which we will need later on when exporting your composition. To access a layer's controls, you need to expand the layer by clicking the small arrow in its name bar. A layer's basic positioning and opacity controls are listed under Transform. To access the controls, click the arrow next to Transform. The monitor window has two main purposes to view the active composition and to view and trim the raw elements from your project window before adding them to the timeline. To move between these two functions you can use the tabs at the top of the window or double click any element to open it in the monitor. The monitor window can show you multiple views of the same composition. To adjust this feature use the drop down box below the monitor. You can adjust the playback resolution we mentioned earlier with this drop down box. The playback resolution does not affect your final output. A range of other minor windows will help with different areas of your composition. For example, the Time Controls window will give you greater playback and frame control, the Character and Paragraph windows deal with text, and the Effects and Presets window allows you to apply ready-to-go effects to any layer by dragging and dropping from this window onto the layer in the timeline. You can also use the Effects menu at the top of the screen while your target layer is selected to apply an effect directly to that layer. Finally, the toolbar lets you alter every aspect of an element through the use of different tools. They all have a purpose, but the most immediately useful are the selection tool and the hand tool, for general use and adjusting your view respectively, the horizontal type tool for adding titles, and the pen tool for creating masks. When you've finished creating your composition, you are ready to export it. Exporting your project usually means creating a single self-contained video file of your finished work. There are an ever-increasing number of video formats to choose from, and selecting one is usually about finding a compromise between size and the quality of the final video. To make a decision, you need to have some idea of where your film needs to be shown, and therefore the quality required. 
If you don't know where you will want to show your work, it is best to export in the highest possible quality and the most commonly used format. QuickTime's H.264 codec is very high quality and widely compatible, and so makes a nice safe choice. With your finished composition open and selected, access the composition menu at the top of the screen and select Make Movie. The render queue should open, and you should see an item there with your composition's name. By clicking the arrow next to Output Module and selecting Custom, you should be able to change the format of your export. Select H.264 Blu-ray and then click the Format Options button. Next to Preset, select HDTV 1080i 25 medium quality, and then click OK. Click OK to close the Output Module Settings window. Click your composition name next to Output 2 in the Render Queue window. Then select where you would like After Effects to save your exported file. Click OK again and then click Render in the Render Queue window. After Effects should now export your project. That concludes the After Effects interface crash course.